optimal diet makeup for you is lean towards vegetables, colors, stressed vegetables and, fr and stuff like that. If you eat just your one meal a day, what do you tend, what does that tend to look like? What's sort of typical David Sinclair dinner? Well, there really isn't one. If I'm eating out, yeah, it's God very knows. different. Um, Roll the dice. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll, I'll avoid fried food and a lot of meat. Uh, I just can't digest it. My my bacteria in my gut don't care for it anymore. They, they, those those guys died out a while ago. Uh, so I, I can't, I cannot eat big heavy meals with meat unless you know I train myself, and I I, I don't do that. So a typical meal, if I'm at home, I might. Have a, a little bit of cheese, some vegetables. And I'll cook some up, or even eat them raw with a with a dip. Uh, usually, I'm working. If if so, nobody's visiting, I'm actually just grazing while I work, and that's my dinner. Um, I don't really at home focus on making meals. Um, I'd I'd rather just uh, get other stuff done. Uh, but it, eating out here's here's an important point. If, if somebody has a dessert, you know, I won't typically order a dessert. I haven't since I was aged 40. And that's over a decade um, ago. But I will steal a spoonful of, of cheesecake. <laughs> Someone else's. You gotta, you gotta live. What's the point of living longer if it's not s enjoyable? So that's the other point, which is, you you wouldn't want to go from a standing start to what I do, because it, it you'll have habits that are really hard to break. Just putting stuff in your mouth and chewing is a habit. Um, ask anyone who's been a smoker about that. I think we like as mammals, uh, we like to suck on things and chew on things. So there's that to overcome, and that takes a couple of weeks at least to get used to. So go steadily um, and try skipping one meal if you've never tried it, either breakfast or dinner. Um, eat, eat breakfast or eat dinner, but don't do both. All right, so talking about exercise, your exercise um, prescription for longevity seems like quite a low dose of movement to me. It's like 10 minutes out of breath a couple of times a week. Is that a minimum effective dose or an optimal one? Minimal. Okay. Have you got any idea yeah. what an optimal one would be? No one does. Um, but it's somewhere between running 10 minutes three times a week on a treadmill and running 20 miles a week, um, something like that. And it's there's a lot of studies, so it's, it's really hard to say which is the optimum. And there are different types of exercise. There's running, there's cycling, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, at a minimum, lose your breath. Um, two, three times a week. And if you can't do that, if you're too old or too lazy, like like I am uh, generally, uh, long walks are great. Um, I, I like to lift weights. So usually next to my desk, I'm moving house, but usually I'd have some weights just next to me. Um, and so when I'm bored or feel a little bit restless and I've been sitting down, I'll just pick up weights. And uh, you, know, you don't have to go to the gym, just have these sitting around next to you. And I find that to be really great. And I do my exercises with a little bit lighter weight than a bodybuilder would. I haven't told anybody this, but this is what I do. Um, I do a lot of reps, and I'm doing this and this during the day, and I do many reps, and I do them fast, because that also gives me the aerobic exercise as well as builds up my muscle. Now, I have a gym, um, so I do more serious weights, but in my office, I'm doing high reps, and it's aerobic and, and muscle building, which, you know, I've been optimizing this for my body for the last 30 years since I was a kid um, and I don't know if it works for everybody but um, for me I, I've never felt this good I've never been this sharp I've never been this happy um, I'm not gonna say I've never looked this good but I certainly feel young and and great with what I'm doing well you had to lift your shirt up to clean the camera lens before we got started and you you're looking lean at the moment lost whatever it was 12 pounds since February. Yeah, my, I found my six pack. It was somewhere under there. Yeah, uh, man. That's awesome. Well, I, I, another um, advocate, I guess, similarly within this space, although a little bit more towards the performance endurance side, Ben Greenfield. And he tells me that um, trying to walk through his office, he says, is like doing an obstacle course because he's got a kettlebell here and he's got a resistance band there. And during, he's got a uh, treadmill desk that he walks on with one of these self-powered banana treadmills. Are you going to show me a treadmill desk underneath your desk? I'm going to show you what I have under here, which is cool. I don't know who makes this thing, but... What's that? What That looks like a torture machine. No! Oh, is it a stepper? Is it a stepper? A stepper under my desk. Wow, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, if you get bored and restless, 
I suppose, just turning around and having something to do. Have you had a look at the impact of sitting or being sedentary on longevity? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the classic quote is, uh, it's as bad as smoking now. That may or may not be true, but it's certainly bad for you. I can speak from my own experience that I sat down for two years to write Lifespan, the book. By the end of it, I couldn't walk properly. I had a cramped up piriformis muscle that runs through your hip bone. And it, it took about o o over a year to fix it. And uh, that's just one example of, of the problems you can have from sitting. But, you know, if you're sitting, it means that you're not moving your heart, you know, training your heart. That's the main problem. And also you get the obesity that comes with it or the, the weight gain. And there's very few things in this life you can do to accelerate your body's clock faster uh, than to gain uh, a lot of uh, white adipose tissue or, or you know, uh, fat on your body. Now, I'm, I'm not, you know, telling everybody they have to be, you know, have a six pack. That's not the, really the point. That's a, that's a choice. Um, but you want to maintain a healthy weight. Um, BMI, for me, optimally, looking at the science, is around 23. Um, different races and sexes are different, of course. Uh, but the point is that there is an optimal weight for longevity that you can hit. Um, I write about it in Lifespan if you want to look up the references and all of that. Um, but I was talking about this with uh, Joe Rogan uh, just last week, that you know we talk about being healthy weight and lean and 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 optimizing our bodies not because we want to shame anybody else who isn't i mean i i've been pudgy for some of my life what we we do it out of love we really just want everybody to feel the way we do and have the confidence that we do and that comes from working a little hard sometimes going without some things that you'd love to eat or do uh, or doing some things you don't want to do um, but in the end, it's so much, it's so worth it. And the gains you get at the end of your life uh, will re really make it worthwhile. Can we go through your daily supplement routine now? We did one two and a half years ago, and I'm really interested to try and compare. So morning to night, what are you, mm -hmm. what are you currently taking uh, doses and such like? Yeah, well, actually, it hasn't changed since I wrote uh, Lifespan 18 months ago. So page 304, see the list. Um, I've added a few things. I work out more. I'm doing more weights three times a day. Supplementation, still NMN, resveratrol, some metformin. Uh, vitamin baby D. aspirin? The baby aspirin, definitely. That's, if nothing else, protective against colon cancer, but probably other stuff too. I like to keep inflammation down. That's a hallmark of aging. Um, so I've added um, quercetin, uh, which is a molecule related to resveratrol, which is also uh, suppresses the activity of senescent cells. Um, and there's another one that I'm experimenting with uh, to have a look what happens. And I trust me, I'm 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 a doctor, right? I, I'm a, I'm a PhD. I monitor myself. I I know my body better than probably anyone on the planet few exceptions, but I, I know when something negatively affects me or positively. And so I, I can do these experiments on myself. So the, the one that I'm testing out is Fizetin, F-I-S-E-T-I-N, Fizetin. We showed in 2003 and 2005 in two nature papers that it extends the lifespan of animals, uh, small animals, worms and flies. But nevertheless, it's been now shown that it's senolytic. It kills off the senescent cells in the body at least in mice, probably in humans, based on some human data. And so I'm looking at that. Um, other than that, that that's my life. I, I definitely eat less now. I've sk I'm skipping lunch, not just breakfast, routinely, and really enjoying that. Have you got any idea what sort of calories typically on a day you would end up eating total? No, I probably would have a, one drink, so probably either a red wine or a whiskey at night with a salad, some cheese, little bit maybe a bit of shrimp maybe some chicken if I'm eating out but probably not often uh, but that's it I, I tend not to eat more than half a regular meal at dinner compared to what I see everyone else eat and that's so, once a day once a day yeah wow and then I'm chewing on gum and drinking tea the rest of the time I do have a bit of yogurt in the morning which I freely admit 
it's, that's it's, to mix it's, your resveratrol in, right? Yeah, because the all these molecules, the polyphenols that come from plants, quercetin, physetin, um, resveratrol, even curcumin, uh, especially curcumin, they're like brick dust. They don't they don't get absorbed. They they they're crunchy. So you have to mix them with something, olive oil or yogurt, so that they they get absorbed. And I know this from human clinical trials. I'm not just making this stuff up. And if you so if you have resveratrol with a bit of food and fatty food, you get five times the levels in the blood.